Good morning. This is Catherine Jean from Special Olympics Manitoba, and I'm creating this video to help athletes re-enroll for this year. If you are an existing athlete, but you haven't registered on the system yet, then I ask you to go back to the video covering new athletes. And um, then the system will send you a link so that you can uh, capture your registrations from previously too. Uh, so an athlete, remembering that an athlete is a, in order to register on the system has to be 18 and has to be uh, handling their own legal affairs. Otherwise, their caregiver or parent has to register on their behalf. So I'm going to start with sharing my screen. There we go. So of course, you've gone to the portal.specialolympics.ca that I had mentioned in the memo. And this is what the screen looks like. Okay, so because you've been on the system before, you're going to log in. Now, please note this memo down here. <clears throat> what the system is going to do is periodically from now on, it's going to make us change our password just for an added security. So if you, for example, had an account created last year, you're going to have to hit forgotten password and reset your password. And it shows the rules down here for what a special or what a password has to look like. So I am going to register in. And because this is a registration that I just proceed just completed on Friday, I'm okay as far as my password. So and I'm going to log in. So it's going to show that I am active on the system. It's also going to show that I am already on the system with one registration. Over here in the blue is like my profile, which is where you would go if you wanted to change your address or whatever. It's going to be like, you know, the um, pretty well self-explanatory. My balance and my payment information is if you're paying on the system. This year, of course, there's no fees except for lane fees. So you don't have to worry about those this year. Add me as an athlete and that's where we're going to go. Okay, so your game, yes, your name is Spider-Man Johnson, and yes, you have a legal guardianship over yourself. Now, the waivers are going to self-populate already with the information that you put in the last time you were in here. So, but I encourage you once again to, to read each full waiver to make sure that your answer from last year is still your answer this year. Okay. So we're going to go to program search. Now I've only loaded a few things on the system, so uh, you're not going to get lots here, but because we're such a small province, I would encourage you to just do your chapter and your sport, which all I've loaded on here is five pin bowling. So it's even five pin bowling, which is the sport that we have the most clubs in Manitoba. There's only about 15 of them. So it would not be too long of a list to look down and find your club. But you can put in your region, it's that type of thing if you wish. So I'm going to hit search. And all of the five pin bowling coaches, or all the five pin bowling clubs for this year are going to, all right. All right. Now, the fact is, when I registered on Friday, I regist already registered Spider-Man in the Coronation Comets. So this time, I'm going to enroll them in the Mosaic All-Stars. So when I say re-enrollment, it can be either at the beginning of the year where you're enrolling for all your clubs, but it can also be that, especially this year, where you've got clubs coming up, like, you know, in two weeks, there might be another club coming up that you're interested in. Then you log in. You don't have to change your password and um, enroll for that club now. Okay. 
So, um, but anyways, it's, it's asking me, am I sure that I want to enroll in the Mojanko All-Stars? And I'm going to say confirm it. And then that registration drops down into in-progress registrations. In progress means that the system is acknowledging the fact that you've registered. However, because you haven't completed the enrollment yet, we won't be notified that you've enrolled, nor will your coach. So you've got to finish the process, okay? So the next step is your enrollment details. Which show that you are you have this one registration that's that's uh, enrolled in. Now it's not jumping through all the, the medical and stuff like that. That's because you're going to go into profile and you're going to check all of that out to make sure that your pills are still what they were last year and that type of thing. Um, but because that information is already on the system, it's not asking you for it again. So so fine and dandy and Mosaic All Stars. Uh, yeah, I want to be in that. So I'm going to hit payment information. It's going to come up and say that there is no fee. Now here I can pay for like, let's say you enrolled in six programs. Because back on the payment, hold on, we're going to take a Back on the payment or the uh, program search, you can keep like you can add, you can put in a five pit bowling club and then you can go back and change the sport to floor hockey and put in a floor hockey club and then you can go back and change the sport again to swimming and then put in a swimming club. So you can enroll in multiple sports all in one all at once. So let's say for example you've got six uh, clubs down here, but you can only afford to pay for three of them now. You would click off which three, the amount payable for those three would be up here in the total selected, and you could go on and pay. But this year, as I say, there are no fees, so, but do you, or do you remember where I told you that you had just had a in-progress enrollment and that we really wouldn't be able to see your enrollment until you submitted it? Well. Now you will get an email that tells you that you um, that you have submitted a registration. The coach will also get a coach or the regional uh, representative will receive uh, a notification that you have have you have submitted a registration this time of the year. Be a little patient. Those lists can be very long as to who submitted, but they will take a look if there's if there's no problem, they will uh, approve you and you will receive an email that says you're approved. There are only two circumstances in which that would not happen, and that is one if the club is completely full. And then you would be notified by either the coach or myself or one of the regional uh, coordinators to t advise you that that club is full and to try to find you another club. The other one would be if the coach had any questions for you. And uh, then they would notify you and answer your questions. Okay, so as I say here, we can play around. We can go to my enrollments. Okay, that's what they've enrolled in right now. You can um, also, if you went, oh, I forgot to enroll in something. If you hit this new enrollment, it's going to take you right back to program search. Okay. So I hope that this has helped. If there's any questions, contact myself or your regional coordinator, and we can help you through any issues that you have. Otherwise, we're going to hit log out here. And congratulations, you've been enrolled for another year. And you have a good day.